Flowers might be more complicated than you think. While they might appear to be just one color, they're often made of several colors. With this experiment, you'll be able to figure out what colors are in these flowers using a technique called chromatography. Chromatography is a method of separating mixtures. The components of a mixture are separated based on a quality, such as the different sizes of the components or their attraction to other materials. Today we will separate flower pigments based on their attraction to a liquid called acetone. Acetone is a common chemical in our homes and is also called nail polish remover. In a chromatography experiment, there is a mobile phase, usually liquid, here we are using acetone, and a stationary phase, usually solid, here we are using paper. The mixture starts at one end of the stationary phase. The mobile phase then moves from one end of the stationary phase to the other and carries the components of the mixture with it. Some components are more attracted to the mobile phase than others, so they move faster and farther. What you'll need for this experiment is acetone, also known as nail polish remover, a mortar and pestle, a jar, some straws, also known as spotters, paper strips, and different types of flower petals. When you work with acetone or nail polish remover, make sure that you're in a well-ventilated area and that you're away from all flames. Once you've separated your three types of flowers, take all of one type of flower and put it into the mortar. Then add some acetone. Add just enough to cover the tops of the flowers. Then take your pestle and start grinding the flowers. Make sure you use a good amount of force to really crush up the flowers into small pieces. Spend at least a few minutes crushing up the petals and the acetone should have taken on a bright color. Next, you're going to take one of your paper strips and one of your spotting straws and pull up some of the liquid and spot it about half an inch from the bottom of the paper. If the color doesn't look very bright, let it dry and then spot it again and repeat until you have a nice bright spot. Then take your jar and fill it until it has about a quarter of an inch of acetone in the bottom. Take your paper strip and add it to the jar. If it's too long, you can bend over the top. Then place a lid on top and wait for the liquid to travel up to the top of the paper. Wait for the acetone to travel about three-fourths of the way up the paper. This should take about 10 minutes. Then take the paper out and let it dry and record what pigments you see. After your finish, compare your results with different types of flowers. What colors do you see with each type of flower? Do some have more than one? Which pigments do you think are more attracted to the acetone? Try this experiment with other things, such as flowers or leaves you find around your home, colorful fruit or vegetables, or even markers. Also try other liquids instead of acetone, such as rubbing alcohol or water. You might be surprised by how many different pigments you find.